People think about the Docklands as sort of nice, big, shining architect uh, design buildings, uh, restaurants, the big wheel, which is eventually going to go round and round. There's also some really interesting things going down here in terms of shipbuilding. Um, obviously, the big one being the Alma Dopel, but also um, the people with small projects building their own boats. We're going to have a look at both of those right now. All around us you see boats in various stages of renovation, rebuilding or being built from new. They all belong to individuals who come to us wanting to build a boat. We work with them and resource what's available, what they want to do, all those questions you might imagine. And eventually we help them build a boat. They pay us a monthly fee based on how much space on the ground they take and we work with them providing more or less tuition, more or less materials. There's a whole range of tools around which they get as part of the deal. They get a key to the door. So our clients, in fact, gain an ownership of the place. Whilst it's still a business, we still maintain some control or try to, but our clients become part of the place and eventually um, we have, uh, you know, uh, a lot of faith in them and they have faith in us. This ship was built as a cargo ship in North New South Wales uh, in 1903 and has worked pretty well continuously uh, ever since, uh, either in a cargo trade or with us as a sail training ship, a period during the Second World War for three years, carrying troops and ammunition for the American Army in the Battle for Ley and uh, other things in New Britain. And We've got approval from the state government and the planning commission and the city of Melbourne support um, to restore the ship. So she needs a fairly extensive refit, which is what happens to ships. And we do a lot of, um, a lot of public sailing, adult um, sailing and weekends, corporate events, all sorts of things like that. <laughs> 